Hey everyone, today we get fan mail. So one of my friends, Skates Finest, he was like, dude, I'm sending this package to someone. I kind of wanted to send you something again too. And I say too, because Skates Finest at this point is basically Retro Death's official sponsor. Dude has the, the, sent me so much shit already throughout the years. And I just can't thank him enough for that, first of all. It's also like hard for me to receive stuff. Um, I like giving things to people. It's just not as easy to receive things. But I mean, I'm not gonna say no to free shit. And he asked me a while ago a bunch of games that I was still wanted that I just didn't really pick up yet. And then during the podcast I'm on, I was like, um, oh, this game came out last year and I didn't really get to play it yet and I really wanted to um, you know you, you gotta, sometimes you gotta make budget decisions that's really what it comes down to and he was like you know what I'm sending you this game I'm like dude don't send me that game it's an expensive fucking game it's like a full price game he's like no I'm sending you this game I'm sending you this other shit so he sent me that game and some other shit in here he put other stuff in here I have no idea what it is if you are seeing this video it means I was like okay I can upload this I didn't read the package or anything we're gonna see right now what's in here there's a bunch of shit and a massive two-page letter let's read the letter first Dear Tom, that is me. Greetings, wo greetings once again from America. I wanted to send you an old-fashioned letter just for fun, and then decided to turn it into a package. One that I am very, with two R's, excited to send. Oh, he's a very low, no deleting spelling mistakes. Anyway, how are things with you? Congratulations on the successful rebranding of your channel. I love that shit. Um, I have been stuck in the subscriber pit for uh, four years now or some shit like that. YouTube is just not letting me get past it. And I decided, maybe it's because I do too much things, you know, too much metal, too many vlogs, you know, too much gaming. Like, I spread my audience way too thin. That's why this year, I decided I'm gonna do everything I can to get my channel numbers rising again. And I'm, I decided to go 100% gaming. You might see a vlog still here and there, but 100% gaming, gameplay, one video a week, all the time, really keep that up, keep keep it up to see if in the end it works. I've been paranoid, like maybe it's my channel name, I don't know what it is, but at the very least, this rebranding, I'm having fun with it. And that's the main reason, really, so that I don't have to worry anymore about what videos to make, worry about the statistics and stuff, even though I'm doing this for the statistics in a way, I'm mostly doing it because I just wanted to have fun with my channel again. This was a kind of a rant. To help show... Is that a T? Is that T? Your T is weird, man. Your T looks like my J. <laughs> um, to help show my support, I've included a very special gift that I had specially made. So I hope you like it, then. Oh my god. Um, I look forward to everything you lo you have in store. <laughs> I mean, I'm one to complain. My writing is absolute garbage, and I know it is. Um, some of these letters are just funky, um, so I hope you like them. I look forward to everything you have in store, and keep up the good work, your friend Tristan. Um, hey Tom, I'm actually writing two letters, <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> With this one being less formal, where I can just talk about whatever random shit, and not have to worry about whether you can read my handwriting or not. Plus, to be honest, I just wanted to write the first one in cursive because really nobody in today's era even hardly needs to write anything by hand at all, period. That is very true. I like... Um, I sent Tristan stuff as well in the past, and I also handwrite it. And my way... because I once got a zero on a test in school because my teacher was like, dude, I'm not gonna bother reading this stuff, it's just so bad. And I'm like, okay, uh, thanks, what about the answers though? And I sent Tristan stuff 
um, a while ago as well for him and his daughter and I added a letter and I wrote it and my way of writing nicely is writing cursive it's the only way I have that looks nice the problem is not everybody can actually properly read cursive we have gotten crazy snow this year here in New York I think you and Roy would probably enjoy that a lot but I'd rather live somewhere where it never snowed there are those places for example here in France but I took my daughter and, and a few of her friends to Greek Peak Mountain Resort this year for her 14th birthday and we all went snow tubing and I admit it was fun as hell so snow isn't so bad all the time so I'm not even gonna hide Skate is not just a random subscriber we're actually pretty good friends we talk behind the screens almost every day you know in Twitter DMs and all that stuff and you know we have talked about more personal things like that's what I like that's why I used to come to YouTube to get to know people to get to know how people lived on the other side of the world and I feel again this channel rebranding is just me going so much deeper in the gaming community you more easily get these ties with people and that's what I love about the internet anyway so in this package there are two buttons one is I lit the black flame candle and you should definitely know where that's from the other one is from The Office, which is my favorite show in the whole world. The rest of the items in the package are pretty self-explanatory and I hope you enjoy it. Really is fun for me to send you shit, man. Tristan. Okay, so. Here we have the buttons. The Dundam Mufflin button. We have... I let the black flame candle button and I'm not even gonna lie. Because when you don't know something, you have to admit it. So, I, dude, I have to look this up. Fun fact, I only saw Hocus Pocus for the very first time, like, two years ago. You know, in America, Hocus Pocus is absolutely massive, especially in Massachusetts. And my girlfriend introduced me to Hocus Pocus. I never even heard of it before then. I didn't know it because we don't celebrate Halloween in Europe, so you don't really get Halloween movies, at least especially when I was growing up, there was just no Halloween movies on TV. And I never saw it before then, so that was, I only saw it once two years ago, so I'm not even gonna pretend like I knew what that was from. And then there's this really fucking awesome Majora's Mask button. So those are the buttons he sent. Then he sent me, like I said, actual paper, he sent me Paper Mario and the Origami Ken. I am so grateful for this, man. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. I'm looking forward to playing this game. It's, it looks amazing. I love all the trailers for this game. I can't wait to start playing it. It looks like fun, it looks like so much fun. Nintendo is finally doing what they do best, make art. Art, and I can't wait to play this game. Thank you so much for that game, man. And then there is this. Uh, the surprise envelope. I don't know how I'm gonna open this. <laughs> this is the best shit. <laughs> this is incredible what's in there. So first of all, there's a really awesome keychain for Majora's Mask, which is, without a doubt, the best Zelda game. It's my absolute favorite. Then, I love this. So, he added custom pins of my new logo. I like doing art. I'm a very artsy person and I designed my new logo myself. My old logo was Retro Death. I wanted to have like this black metal kind of everything. But like I said, I'm moving away from the metal and I want to do it mostly gaming but I wanted to stay retro that so I made it a pixelated reaper which is something I actually originally wanted when I made my new channel when I changed my name to retro that a few years ago and I did it myself the pixel art step and this dude fucking made buttons off my new logo. This is so freaking cool. I like this, so this is so cool, man. I'm actually, you know, gonna keep one for myself. 
I'm actually, um, cause I wanted to do some giveaways this year as well. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a while, new giveaways and stuff. And these are gonna be absolutely perfect additions to that. I feel all that so much. And then he sent me this. I don't really know what this is yet. Oh! <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna pick up. This is button. It's basically a pen as well. That you can like, that like glows up and shit. <laughs> this is the greatest shit. This is actually custom made stuff. Check that out. <laughs> That's so good. So, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you, Skate, for your like boundless generosity. And it's not just that he's sending me this shit, I want the audience to know that. Like, Skate in general is extremely generous when it comes to his friends and family. It's just crazy what some people would do for their friends and... Like I said, the support alone for the channel makeover, which is something I've been really scared about doing, because I know what it means that I'm gonna be tanking basically half my subs. It's gonna be a rough patch before things will start actually going back up again. But knowing that there's people who support what I do in such a way, it is there's no price you can put on that. And that's the main thing I absolutely love about this. So, thank you guys for watching again. Skate, like, thank you for the stuff, for the, the buttons and stuff, it's amazing. Like I said, I'm gonna plan giveaways in the future and I might like add like one or two of those to some of those and I'm looking forward to that stuff. The, the light up button is, is absolutely amazing, I love it. Uh, I'm gonna have so much fun, obviously I'll let you know what I think of the game and everything. And for the rest there's many more videos coming, I have so many ideas for this year. When I, go, I, have a little bu I already launched a few new series that I'm planning on continuing. I have still a few new series that I didn't even put out there yet. I'm taking this channel makeover all the way. I want this to be clear that it's a full rebranding. It, 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 it hurts, you know, dumping some of the, the metal stuff and knowing that a lot of people subscribe to that. I once did a collaboration with a big metal YouTuber. And I think like overnight I gained like 802 subs. So this is not something I take lightly. I know that the past couple of years, those 800 subs have been trickling down, you know, and this official rebranding is probably gonna get rid of the rest of them, which is not something I enjoy at all, but it's necessary because YouTube is just, they got me locked, they got me locked and I had to do something and the struggle of finding has something that I had to do against it. It wasn't fun anymore. It wasn't fun anymore. I didn't like trying to keep a balance between the videos I used to do and the new videos and the gaming and the metal and the vlog. And I did I did too much stuff and I just like enough. It wasn't fun anymore. And for now, I've had nothing but fun. This rebranding was brilliant. The redesign. No, I did all the way like that. Redesigning the logo and everything and just the gaming like a lot of this is also possible thanks to my girlfriend who got me a capture card which opened up all the doors i was never able to step through and a lot of the stuff is gameplay that's stuff you have to do i don't want to review video games i want to play games enjoy games with others make like top 10 videos specific like some of my new series that i've launched retro reminiscence where i just want to talk about my memories of video games, things like that. I have other series planned, which I really want to talk about, but I don't want to spoil it yet. And um, first play a series I brought back where I'm playing video games for the very first time that I never had the chance to play before. And I have more videos like that planned. So it's not all just gonna be like, let's play. So I don't want to do that. I just want to have a gaming channel that is not a news channel. I'm gonna have like reaction videos and all that kind of stuff. I'm fully invested. I have a massive list of ideas and I'm looking forward to do all of those ideas. 
So yeah, it's all possible thanks to my girlfriend and thanks to people like Tristan who support me in such a way where I'm like, yeah, you know, I actually might making the right decision where there's people who will support me no matter what. And I don't, I mean, making like merch and shit, it doesn't get better support than that. I'm just like moving mad, I'm just nervous. <laughs> it's not easy for me to just receive things. I just don't even know how to end this video. So I'm just gonna end it saying like this. Please consider subscribing. I'm dedicated to this makeover. It's gonna be so much more fun content in the future. If you just look at my channel, you can subscribe to it and you can see the videos I've been doing since this year started. I'm fully committed and it's gonna be a lot of fun. Thank you guys for watching and stay real.